not sub you to suitly. Oh, not a lot here. And it's time for a very new, very evil box opening today. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist, Immortal Destiny. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I'm actually very excited for this set. I mean, the Legendary Duelist in general, I've, I've very much enjoyed these sets. But this is the Bakura set, you guys. And Destiny Board is back. You can even see here, Evil Hero's Revenge. After the Hero's Revenge from uh, Battle of Legends Heroes Revenge. Now we have it in a Legendary Collection, or sorry, Legendary Duelist 5, or Immortal Destiny. Very excited, you guys. But before we get into the booster box, very awesome set with six archetypes inside. Um, I wanted to give a quick shout out to all those that have been coming to the Simply Unlucky Game Shop for the past few weeks, you guys. It's been awesome, it's been crazy, been a learning experience, not about just running a store, but just enjoying so many of you guys coming in with different decks and, uh, it's been so fun, you guys. And we are going to start our tournament schedule. Um, if we get enough people in, you know, that's one thing. But we're going to try to do tournaments, you guys, every day if we can. I think we're open Tuesday. I think I know we're open Tuesday through Friday. Uh, we're open from 12 to 8 p.m. And we got tournaments from 5 to 8 every day. We will have OTS tournament pack support for almost all of our tournaments. Uh, Konami is sending those in very soon. And then we'll have Saturday, we'll have a tournament at 12 p.m. you guys and then maybe another one after we're open 10 to 10 saturday and sunday we are open from 10 a.m to 6 p.m with a speed duel tournament and yes we're getting prize uh, support for that as well from konami so we're very excited you guys and come on by if you guys are by modesto in california anywhere um if you're not check on the online markets online but uh it's crazy you guys speaking of online markets we do have the legendary duelist immortal revenge so Check it out, you guys. Uh, the website is up and running. Please, if you guys, if you cannot get into the website, post in the comments below. Let us know. Um, if you're not able to, it should be working properly now with very competitive prices. Uh, finally getting the website connected to our inventory. No inventory issues. Uh, should be no canceled orders, you guys. So come in, check it out. It's going to be awesome. All right, you guys. Legendary Duelist Heroes Revenge. Heroes Revenge. Evil Heroes Revenge. Uh, Immortal Destiny. So Bakura sets you guys here. Uh, very exciting. Uh, we are going to actually be opening up a, more than a box here. I wanted to show you guys the set and so we can see what's inside. We are using one of our Simple and Lucky Playmats. Um, we're sending them out to Patreons. Uh, sorry, not Patreons. Uh, patrons, we're actually doing something very new very soon, but I'm going to hold off on that for now and start getting out some more content. But uh, for the Kickstarter, we have these planes. This is the uh, kind of bare playmat, very simplified version of the playmat, and actually one of my favorite versions. Um, we have different versions coming into the shop, you guys, as well, and uh, most Kickstarters you guys should have been, uh, or Kickstarter supporters should have been messaged by now with the survey. If not, it's still being rolled out, And uh, but can't thank you guys enough for the support. So, Bakura said here, six archetypes inside. We'll talk about it as we open up the packs here. I'm very excited for a few of these archetypes. You can have Gimmick Puppet inside here, along with um, Dark Necrofear slash Destiny board cards. Then you have uh, the new Evil Hero cards. They're insane. You have, uh, I don't even know what to call this deck here. Is it Sun, Moon and Sun and Moon Dragon deck? Um, you have new support for that. Dark Fusions in here, so there's the Moon Dragon, Quila. Earthbound Immortals are in here with an archetype. And we're starting off with a rare Earthbound Immortal um, Ap Apu. And I'm just going to try my best to say some of these names for the Earthbounds. But yeah, you guys, absolutely epic. Epic set. You have the uh, uh, Drago. I was, I was about. I was gonna say we're gonna pull one here. Predaplant cards. I was gonna try to say the name of some of them. You don't want to try to say the name of some of these cards. But the Predaplant cards are inside, um, and then so many different cards. The gimmick puppets, and then Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Kind of going with the whole uh, Predaplant concept going on with this set. But yeah, we definitely want to check out and read some of these cards, and so. We'll go a little slower on our first box, checking out the art. Sun Dragon, Gimmick Pucket, Des Troy. There's the Hydra. And here is the common Predaplant. Man, a Sundew. Um, very powerful card. This is the one you can use, I think, as fusion materials. And then this is Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. Actually, pretty sweet card. Whenever you normal summon or set an Earthbound Immortal monster to the field, you can target a face-up monster on the field and destroy it. It's continuous. Cool. It's like if these Earthbound cards were out, like a, you know, maybe a few years back, I feel like the deck would have been very powerful and very awesome. But as of right now, I don't know. But these Evil Hero cards, you guys. So Gainers in here, 
We got the Drago, Zoma, and then our first super rare card, it's gonna be Predaplant, uh, wow. Helia Fornicus. Something, something close to that. Um, actually, pretty sweet card. It's very good at being special summoned, right? And then target a dark monster, a dark plant monster in your graveyard, except this guy and special summon it. You can only use that effect once per turn. If your opponent controls a monster with Predator Counter, special summon this card from this hand. And if it's destroyed, you special summon another one from the grave. And nice, uh, Predator Prime Fusion. And this is like a super poly. Um, not About not as good as a super poly, but because it says including two or more dark monsters you control. But it's still kind of like a super poly uh, for the fusion summoning of Predator Plant Monsters. And thanks to our friends at Old Pro, you guys. We have some white uh, Pro Mat sleeves today. Very beautiful sleeves. Um, we actually have these available in the shop as well. So, had to pull those out. Very nice. Thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro. All right, you guys. Next, we have Dark Calling is in here as a common. This is very nice to see. This is a uh, fusion summon of uh, from the extra deck for a dark fusion. And you're banishing the materials from your hand and or grave. So, brings out the evil heroes. Diebound Colonel. Nice to see that guy. <laughs> uh, we got Supreme King's Castle. Now, when I read that name, I'm feeling like it's going to be one of these fiend cards for these new destiny boards but it's not it's actually for uh you can fusion summon fusion monsters that can be special summon with dark fusion uh with effects other than dark fusion once per turn during damage cow if one of your monsters battles opponent's monsters send one evil hero monster from your deck or extra deck to the grave and your monster gains 200 attack for the stars crazy cards guys crazy cards i'm very excited for that man so many i love how the Legendary Duelist sets, because this is LED 5 or Legendary Duelist 5, um, they are just divided. The set is basically divided into, if you guys have looked on our eBay, we've uh, we created the whole deck core thing, and the deck cores, you guys, are divided into like six groups, and it's basically all the cards in the set. Each um, each card in the set follows its own archetype or its own deck core, so I think that's pretty sweet. So here's Supe, and the Puppet Parade. Nice. Doom Cow's in here, following uh, the kind of Destiny board cards, or the Fiends. And then we got Gimmick Puppet of Strings. Evil Mind. This card seems a little crazy. If you control a Fiend monster, activate one of these effects based on the number of monsters your opponent controls. You're sorry, your opponent has in their grave. Uh, draw a card for one. If you control, activate one of these effects. So, you choose one. <laughs> Um, if it's four plus, add a hero monster or dark fusion from your deck to your hand. That's insane, but they gotta have four monsters in the grave. And then lastly, add a poly spell or fusion spell from your deck to your hand uh, for ten. So I don't know about if you're gonna pull that one off, but very nice to see some of these uh, cards supporting the whole evil hero archetype. And some people are thinking, man, mixing these with some. Ooh, baby, there we go. Evil hero sinister necrom. Speaking of the evil heroes. Uh, mixing these with some other regular hero cards as well, like potentially the Vision heroes. Um, you can banish this card from the grave to special summon an evil hero monster from your hand or deck. Except this guy. Once per turn. What? <laughs> banish this guy from the grave to special summon an evil hero from your deck. That seems insane. Maybe the evil hero count uh, for monsters isn't too high or aren't too powerful, the ones that are in the actual deck. But still, you guys... Seems a little crazy. And if they make any more evil hero monsters, I feel like that can get insane. And it is from the grave, so if like you do combo and then eventually one of your guys dies, you can't bring back one um, that has already been special summoned. Um, Preda Planning, the most insane card ever for the Preda Plants. You guys, this card is insanity. Uh, so, send a Preda Plant monster from your deck to the grave, so it's already foolish. Add a Predator counter on each face of monster on the field, yours and your opponents. It's crazy, and if you know if any of those monsters are level two or higher, they become level one. Okay, as long as they have a Predator counter, and then if you fusion summon a dark monster while this card's in your graveyard, um, you can banish this card from your grave, target up one card on the field, and destroy it. Wow, like crazy card, you guys. It's like ruin synchros, exceeds, and then just allows you to combo non-stop with your Predaplant cards. Predaplast. Sentence of Doom. Oh, man. It's another Supreme Castle. This card's insanity. Target any number of fiend monsters that are banished or in your grave to the number of Destiny Board and or Spirit Message cards. Oh, do we call it a Destiny Board deck or a Spirit Message deck? I'm always curious. 
Um, and then add them to your hand. And then you can send this card from your spell and trap zone to the grave to place one spirit message card from your hand or deck. Wow. Or grave in your spell or trap zone. You can only use one effect per turn. And only once that turn. So this card is just pure insanity for the Destiny board deck. Goodbye. What does the Japanese one actually translate to? Like die or death or something? So. Sentence of Doom, you guys. Such a cool evil set. I love it. Uh, evil Hero Malicious Edge. Sun Dragon. Are we in October yet? I don't think we're in October yet. I was going to say this is a pretty sweet October set for Halloween. But didn't quite make it. Malicious Edge again. Nice. Supe the Dusk Walker. Somehow, that little masked dude... And you guys work with me on this. This little masked dude that I'm not going to be able to find too quickly here turned into this this chick here so and there's the oracle of the sun to go with that little mask dude that we just looked at earlier is one of the common cards turns into her is, so is she actually supe it's crazy um, this allows for crazy combos uh, for synchro summoning you guys because supe let me just see if I can find supe real quick because I know we pulled him the Fire Ant and Supe have their combos here. And so Supe is an actual tuner. And so by summoning the Dusk Walker, you just bring out a Supe from your deck and basically free synchro summon. Would have definitely been very powerful back in the day. But as of now, I'm not sure if that will make the cut. But it's nice to see some cool support for some classic cards. In a way, it's kind of like the mass cards. Um, you know, just because based around kind of masks speaking of supe uh predator plants now this guy is over over tum this guy seems insane oh man the gimmick puppet terror baby also a very crazy card um but let's talk about this guy because i think this will probably end up being one of the more valuable supers in the set it's three you know i'm gonna have to take this away from this camera three dark monsters on the field so this is the one that you could potentially super poly with that predator plant card um we could actually just use Super Poly though. Gains attack equal to the original attack of all monsters on the field with Predator counters. Wow. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. When your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck while you control this fusion summon, quick effect negate the summon if you do destroy the monster. What? <laughs> if your opponent controls a monster with Predator counters, you can special summon this card from the grave in defense. What? <laughs> this guy, you're kind of just like, when you read that guy, you're like, wait, wait a minute. This guy is way overpowered. Um, and then here is the gimmick puppet uh, baby doll. And this is the normal summon target a gimmick puppet monster in your grave. Special summon it's in defense position. Banish the card from the grave. Your opponent can activate cards or effect um, in response to the activation of gimmick puppet monsters this turn. So very good card. This is a very good card. It allows you to exceed summon two level fours. And then it has an effect in the grave. And then once we pull pull out the new exceeds card here for gimmick puppets, you guys are going to be like, wow. So very nice. Dark Sanctuary making its back way back into the uh, card pool here. Um, definitely would have been pretty hard to get. It was ultra rare in one of the other duelist packs. Um, Starving Venom Dragon is seeing another printing after just being printed in Fist of the Gadgets. Zone of the Spirit, Doom Cow. Um, here's our Perform Puppet card. Some more support for our puppet monsters. Nice to see Doom Cal again. Evil Hero Malicious Fiend. Would you ever thought this would be printed as a common? Actually, it may have been common in one of the legendary collections already. Um, there is the Sundew again. Very powerful card. Dark Calling and Sundew. They're probably your two best commons in the set right there. Um, Dark Sanctuary. And I think we talked about Sundew a little bit before. Um, monsters with a Predip counter that you are using as fusion materials are treated as dark. Uh, during your main phase, fusion summon a dark fusion monster from your extra deck. Using this card on the field and monsters from your hand field and or monsters with a predator counter your opponent controls. Holy crap, you guys. What an insane card. So you just predator counter them and then you summon that guy and then take two of their monsters because they're considered dark and turn them into that big fat guy right here. Um, overturn. Over, I'm just going to call him Overturn for now. Dark Spirit of Banishment and there's predator planning again. That's the combo with that. Um, Dark Spirit of Banishment, though, these, these, this is for your, uh, 
I guess the way they're kind of doing this is for the Destiny board deck, you can kind of mix within your Dark Necrofears and level 8 Fiends. And uh, this guy is, during the damage step, you can send this card from your hand to the field to the grave, target a level 8 Fiend in your graveyard, special summon it, effects are negated. If you do, change the attack target. So when your opponent's monster clears attack, you do that. And then you change the attack to that guy and perform damage cow. Level eight, a level 8 Fiend monster is sent from your, just sent to, the, to your graveyard. While this guy's in the graveyard, you can add it to your... You can only use each effect once per turn. So it's just like a way of just moving your cards in and out much more easily. Getting some easy plus ones to your hand. I'm not sure exactly what makes that good though. You guys will have to let us know in the comments below. Oh nice. Uh, Preta Practice. It kind of it looks so freaking uh, similar to the uh, Preta Plast. It's like literally the same picture, Konami. Just, just saying. You made that real, real hard. It's just a monster doing cool stuff. Okay, so special summon a Preta Plant monster from your hand, then add a Preta, Preta card from your deck. So literally any Preta Plant card, spell, trap, monster, except this card. And also for the rest of the turn, if this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusions. You can only activate a Preta practice per turn. One per turn. Insanity, you guys. That card is insane. Special summon from your hand, and then add a Pred Up card from your deck to your hand. Like what? Absolutely insane. All right, you guys, next pack here. Evil Mind, very nice. I like that card. Is it gonna actually be, paid in, be played in Evil Heroes? Possibly. Uh, magnet doll and more gimmick puppets. Another evil mind. What kind of mind do you have? I have an evil mind. What about you? Not so much. Earthbound Apu. And if you guys saw that in there, was that Wiracocha Raska? <laughs> As a common in this set. I love it. So many cool cards in here. Earthbound, Supe's Dark Spirit of Malice. This is going to be your other dark spirit card and I love how they made it similar to the old uh, dark spirits um, the trap and the spell spiritualism was the spell and uh, dark spirit of the silent maybe uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect you can send this card from your hand to the, um, or field to the grave to target level 8 fiend monster in your grave to special summon it its effects are negated if a level 8 fiend monster is sent to the graveyard while this card is in the uh, grave you can add this card to your hand each effect once per turn so this one just straight does it in response to effect. So in a way, I think this one's more consistent on pulling its effects off compared to the one that has to be activated in response to an attack, banishment one. But still, very cool cards. And we're hoping for five ultras in this set. I believe it's a nine ultra set overall. Nice, Dark Spirits Mastery. Look at Dark Necrofear. Um, by the way, to talk about some of the short print cards in the set, we believe it's probably going to be end up being the Dark Necrofear itself, um, the monster, the new one, along with the Evil Hero Fusion and Evil Hero Gold. So if you're looking at some $15 to $20 cards, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to end up being those. Usually how short prints end up working out, especially ones that are cool. But this card may still have that value, even though it's not in, it might not be one of the more short print cards. It's very good. Discard one card, add a destiny board, or level 8 fiend monster from your deck or grave to your hand. You can banish this card from the grave, except the turn it was sent there. Place any number of destiny board or spirit message cards with different names from your hand or grave on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw the same number of cards. You can only use each effect of Dark Spirit Mastery once per turn. What? I feel like, played properly, you could really do some crazy shenanigans. Any card that can potentially draw you five cards. You discard a card, guys, to activate the first effect. To add a Destiny Hero or level, sorry, Destiny Board or level eight Fiend Monster. Banish, and then you can banish, you can't do the same turn, but it's like crazy stuff, guys. This is, this card is talking, that's like crazy things happen with cards like that. Got an evil hero over here that just literally special summons any hero, e evil hero from your deck or grave. 
the Preda practice that special summons one from your hand and he grabs any Preda card from your deck to your hand. I don't know, you got some real crazy cards for some archetypes in here, guys. I think the Duskwalker might end up just uh, walking around in comparison to some of these other archetypes. Dark Calling again is a common. That's the fusion you get. Now here, I'll just actually read the effect. If a Preda plant monster is on the field, fusion summon one dark fusion monster from the extra deck using monster from either field as material, including two or more dark monsters you control. You can only activate it once per turn. So the whole card there is, uh, the concept there is that you can use it kind of like Super Pwn. We got the uh, Terror Baby again. I love how it's called Terror Baby. Terror Baby. And it looks like we've pretty much seen all of the cards in the set that are rare and common at this point. Um, super wise, we got five supers there. I believe there's eight supers in the set. There's another Preda Planning. And I think I said nine Ultras per box. You're hoping to get five. Um, again, the harder ones to pull. Oh man, there he is. Gimmick Puppet Gigante's Doll. Gigantes. Um, two level four gimmick puppet monsters. So that's kind of the setback for this guy. It's two level four gimmick puppet monsters. But it says here, you can detach two materials from this card. Target up to two monsters your opponent controls. It doesn't even say face up, you guys. Target up to two monsters your opponent controls. Gain control of them until the end phase. Also for the rest of the turn, you got special summon monsters except gimmick puppet monsters, nor declare an attack except with, ex except with exceeds monsters. You contribute this monster Wow, you contribute this card, all monsters you currently control become level 8 until the end of the turn. <laughs> you can only use each effect once per turn. So, you literally bring this guy out, take two of their monsters, flip them face up, because it doesn't matter if they're face down, whatever. Tribute him, they both become level 8s, and you summon a gimmick puppet, exceeds um, monster, and like literally you have the, the one right here, it's number 40 gimmick puppet of strings. You summon the Xyz monster and you attack. Do his effects. They're like, what? That is insane. And with um, the, what was his name? Uh, Terror Baby. You special summon that guy from your hand. And then you sorry, special summon another one from your hand. Or the Biscay, I believe is the name of the super rare one. I think you special summon from the grave for that one. It's like, let's see if we can pull him in here. So I think we're good on supers though. <laughs> We'll find out though. These gimmick puppet cards are insane. Nice. Five ultras in this box. We got Earthbound Greater Lion Walker. And an evil mind. If you control synchro monsters and you have synchro monsters in your grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. 2900 attack. During main phase, you can add an Earthbound Immortal Monster from your deck or grave to your hand. <laughs> oh man. If an Earthbound Mar Monster is normal summon while this card is on the field, make your opponent's life points 3000. Each effect once per turn. Like what? Greater Line Walker. So is Line Walker like already a card? This guy is pure insanity. 29-29 by the way. For the damage. Pure insanity for an Earthbound deck. Gosh. And then more Preda Planning. And then now we're down to just a few packs left for this box. And again we took our time with this box. Talked about some of the effects. There's Apu. And people are, you know, thinking these are kind of the better Earthbound cards um, to play in Earthbound decks, the ones in this set. But, of course, there's still more Earthbound Geo, Geoglyph, uh, speaking of the Earthbound cards. This is a field spell, and then any level 10 monster on the field, this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. You can treat one Synchro Monster as two tributes for the tribute summon of an Earthbound Immortal Monster. If a Synchro Monster is special summoned, you can add an Earthbound Monster spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use that once per turn. So I don't get it. Is is maybe the Duskwalker, Supe, and the Ant guy, are they part of like the whole Earthbound thing? Is that, is there some sort of lore there that I'm missing? Are they, do they work well together since all of a sudden it's, it's talking about synchros for the Geoglyph? Maybe, maybe that's, uh, maybe there's something there. Well, Supe and little Ant-Man. Interesting. All right, you guys. Got Sundew. Got Terror Baby. 
two more packs left. Give it to us. Kariba! Come on, heart of the cards, guide us. Another Sundew and a Dark Calling Man in the same pack. Beautiful. And the last pack of Destiny from Immortal Destiny. The odds of pulling six Ultras is not too good, but we're going to do it. No, not this time. Supreme King's Castle, you guys. All right, so that was one box. And again, that was 36 packs. We did take our time going through it. Um, I would like to open up one more box for you guys, hopefully pulling um, a couple of the other Evil Hero Ultra Rares along with... We're still missing the Dawn Walker for the Ant. Yeah, the Dawn Walker for the Ant, and then the, um, the what's her name? Dark Necrofear. So we're still missing, again, four Ultras. I'm gonna set this all to the side, and then let's do one more booster box here, you guys. Let's see what we get. Evil Heroes Revenge. And again, you guys, all these cards will be for sale at simplelucky.com. Um, if any of you guys are having issues getting onto the site, let us know, please, in the comments below. Um, or send us a message at simplysquadsq at gmail. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to message us as well. And, um, yeah, you guys. We have all the deck cores ready to go. If you guys would just like a piece of the set and not get everything, we have all of the Duskwalker cards together, the Dawnwalker. And then, of course, the Earthbounds, Evil Heroes, and Predator Plants and your Destiny board cards. Very epic set. Always love the Legendary Duelist. And then in store, we'll have everything available as well. So if you guys live living nearby, want to come by and say hey, we should have all singles and booster boxes available in store. Legendary Duelist, Mortal Revenge. Ooh, there he is. Gigantes. The doll. And now we're going to speed it up through this pack here. We got Terror Baby. Um, and of course, the last the last three weeks, we haven't as, haven't done as many videos as we would have liked to. Um, expect to see some really epic content, you guys, coming up. We're very excited to uh, to continue bringing, bringing the heat. Um, just kind of had to see where we're at with the shop. And I know a lot of you guys know that um, the baby is coming soon. And so we're... Uh, also preparing for that. It's going to be October 26th is, is the due date. I know some of you are curious. Also, thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. Um, today is my birthday. And so I appreciate the support there. Just like haven't even posted a video for a bit and some of you guys are just sending some messages in. So I appreciate that. And soup base Sentence of Doom. Much appreciated. It's crazy, um, kind of going through the motions of opening up a store. We do want to do some vlogging type material for the shop. Um, it's just that we haven't really, we really wanted to kind of clean up, and we didn't want to just start making videos that seem like we're just like flexing, if that's the right word to use. We really wanted you guys to see that we're kind of just working our butts off and trying to uh, create something. Um, that's going to be really awesome for everyone. So, there he is. Evil Hero Adusted Gold. Oh, baby. All right. So, let's check this bad boy out. It's like a version of Elemental Hero Gold, maybe. Was that, was that his actual name? Discard this card to add a dark fusion or card that specifically lists dark fusion in its text from your deck to your hand once per turn what kind of insanity is that you guys cannot attack unless you control a fusion monster good for you what kind of insanity is that pure search power beautiful a dusted gold See if we can get any of the other cards that we've been talking about as well. Are we missing a couple fusions? I think we're missing one fusion card. It's gonna be it's gonna be that card. It's gonna be that card. Uh gimmick puppet, I think. Biscay? Biscay doll? 
Very powerful card, actually, as well. Alright, you guys, how do the cards guide us? Come on, Yu Gi Oh! Earthbound Immortals. Personally, as a more casual duelist and just person who's watched the show from the very beginning, I think it's really cool to see Konami turn in turn some of these archetypes into something that's a bit more viable in the current format. Um, and honestly, I think it's a very good business plan as well, just kind of enhancing older decks. There's Banishment again um, with some newer support. And then honestly, seeing some of these characters from these Legendary Duelist sets is really cool. Like Bakura, I know some of you guys have seen, like we've done with our uh, play mats, and even the windows on the shop. Um, for some of you guys that come by within, I think it's going to be within two, to th one to two weeks, we should have the windows done. And uh, we kind of used our whole theme for that, and putting some of these legendary duelists on the front of the shop. I think it's really cool how Konami's been doing that as well with their booster packs. Evil Heroes Revenge. I like how we're pulling the Dusk Walkers, but not the Dawn Walker. Whoops. And okay. As I talk, we get a double Dusk Walker. Awesome. But can we get the Evil Heroes? That's the real question, guys. We already got the adjusted gold, and it's crazy, you guys. Some of the value of these evil heroes, I guarantee you, they're going to hold a pretty hefty value. A card that can literally search for a fusion spells or anything that has to do with the fusion spell. So he can get Dark Calling. You know, that's very powerful. I, mean, I don't even personally know all the cards that card can search for. Absolutely insane. Supe the Duskwalker. You know what? If I'm going to have any of these... Monsters follow me around. I think I'm okay with the Dusk Walker. All right. Are we gonna be able to pull the Dawn Walker? Are we gonna be able to pull one of the malicious monsters? As we pull, I was gonna say we're probably gonna pull Malicious Fiend now in this pack. Um, this is Malicious Fiend, by the way. If you guys don't remember her, she's 3,500, 2,100 defense. Ultra rare originally, I believe, must be special summoned for dark fusion during your opponent's battle phase. All monsters they control are changed to face up, and they must attack this monster. Actually, not a bad card, and may actually see some play as a one of in some of these evil hero decks. Forcing monsters to attack it. Hey, gimmick puppet Biscay doll, nice. Level eight, first off. Um, you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one gimmick puppet monster. Already good. You can banish this card from your grave. Your opponent cannot target one gimmick puppet monster you control with card effects this turn. Oh man, that card's like even better than I thought it was. Insanity, you guys. I love it. Will gimmick puppets be good enough with all the support? Maybe not, but still very cool to see some of the crazy cards. All right, nice, another Dark Spirits Mastery. I'm gonna say, guys, if I'm going to pull any ultra rare that we're not looking for, that's going to be the one I want. That card is so crazy. Potentially drawing you... Oh, we got some Konami cards here. Got the stamp of not mint condition. <laughs> um, but yeah, potentially drawing you four or five cards. I mean, if you're drawing five cards, I feel like... Man, I don't know, you guys. If there's some combo decks that use that card in some crazy way... And there he is, the Dawnwalker. Could seriously do some damage. Um, I like how the ants there, kind of in the background. So if you want to compare him with the Dusk Walker, this box is definitely a, a walking. Watch out for those walkers. A set with lots of people walking around. Uh, I think that is now one, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Did we get six ultras, you guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six ultras. First box was five ultras. One, two, three, four, five. So there it is, you guys. You do have a possibility to pull the six ultras. So it's very cool. I actually didn't expect us to do it. So maybe when you guys see some of the duplicate ultras in a box, like we got two Duskwalker Supes, 
you know, hopefully you're probably wanting to pull some double Dark Spirit Mastery or Evil Heroes, but um, to see one, two, three, four, five, six uh, six Ultras is pretty sweet. Let's see if it takes away from our super uh, pull rate. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six supers. In our last box, I believe we pulled seven. Six Ultras, you guys. Honestly, I think we talked about it last time with some of our Kaiba boxes we opened. Um, well, that would be LED 3, but LED 4, I think if you pull 7, some people pulled 7 Ultras, and I think that's 7 Supers. So some of these LED boxes, you guys, are just that much better than others, if you just get an extra Ultra. The thing is, can you get 2 extra Ultras? Can we get a Godly box? Can we get the Gods to descend upon us right now? Honestly, not going to complain though, pulling the Adusted Gold. Um, and then the Spirit's Mastery in the same box. Supreme King. Last two packs. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Apu. Last pack of Destiny. From Immortal Destiny. Nice! Eight! Is that eight supers? Oh my gosh. That's insanity. Um, Gigantes Doll. I always want to say Gigantes because I feel like I called a guy that from IOC back in the day. Absolutely incredible, you guys. This is such an epic set. All right, you guys, I went ahead and grabbed a couple of the shorter print cards that we didn't pull from our two boxes here. Um, just kind of show them off for you guys, and they look absolutely beautiful. Um, but yes, our boxes were very good, especially pulling two Dark Spirits Masteries. Very, very epic boxes, you guys. But let's talk here real quick about the Cursed Necrofear. This card is gorgeous, first off. If you're going to try to make Dark Necrofear look even more sinister and epic, I think this is how you would do it. Um, so this guy, this girl, this thing, cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summoned by a card effect. You can target three of your banished fiend monsters, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, shuffle those banished monsters in your deck. So kind of the opposite of Necrofear when it's banished from the grave. This one takes your banished, put it back in the deck. But during the end phase, if this card is in the grave and it was destroyed and your monster is done by an opponent's card, and sent there this turn, special summon this card from your grave. Then you can destroy cards on your opponent's field, equal the number of face-up spell and trap cards you control with different names. So that would work with the spirit message cards. Um, very cool, you guys. Honestly, it just it could work in many different fiend uh, fiend decks in general, and just wombo combo. Very cool card, and not very easy to pull as well from legendary duelist immortal destiny. Bakura, one of Bakura's ace monsters, dark necrofear. And now, you guys, it's time, I think it's time to talk about Evil Hero Malicious Bane. This guy truly is going to be the bane of many, many duelists. Alright, you guys. Eight stars, I believe. One Evil Hero Monster, one level five or higher monster. That's how most of the Evil Hero Fusions are summoned. Must be special summoned with Dark Fusion. Cannot be destroyed. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. You know when a card just has that at the top sentence, you're kind of like, man, that's a good card. The gods don't even have that. <laughs> okay. During your main phase, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this cards. Also, this guy gains 200 attack for each monster destroyed this way. You can't declare attack except with monsters that are hero. What? What? You guys, what? literally destroy everything that has less attack than this guy and then he gains more attack permanently for how many he destroys literally a malicious bane evil hero that is so cool absolutely insane so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video overall again another big shout out to those of you guys that have been coming to the simple unlucky game shop over here in modesto california um, it's been awesome. Again, you guys, we're setting up our tournament schedule now, getting OTS uh, packs from Konami to support our tournaments. And honestly, you guys, if we have eight people, that's a tournament, and I'm down to run it. Um, and so tournaments, you guys, are going to be 5 to 8 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. That's literally every day. We're just close. Uh, we got to close Monday in order to do some videos and catch up with online orders and stuff. But pretty much every day we're open. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday. But tournaments will be 5 to 8 p.m. from Tuesday through Friday. 
And then Saturday, we're going to have a tournament at 12 p.m. every Saturday. Though, uh, if we are able to, we'll do another tournament in the, later in the day, um, closer to 4 p.m. And then also Sunday is Speed Duels. And we would love to run a Speed Duels draft and a Speed Duels tournament, but we got to get eight Speed Duels people in here in order to do that. And Speed Duels not being the most popular uh, version of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, that's a bit difficult. But the prize support for Speed Duels, you guys, is insane. So please come in so we can actually report some Speed Duels tournaments. Um, and Konami can send us some of those epic Speed Duels tournament packs, you guys, because by far some of the most valuable cards are in there. And so uh, we're excited to see uh, what you guys can pull. All right, you guys. So that's the Simple and Lucky Game Shop. Of course, check out the Simple and Lucky Markets if you guys are interested in any of these cards. We have the deck cores of all the cards you'll see in an archetype on the website now, on the different um, markets. Um, all cards will be shipped Thursday, uh, OTS store. So we have that going for you guys as well. And uh, so just be prepared, you guys. We have it, and it's ready to go. And we can't thank you enough for all the support. More videos coming soon, you guys. Can't wait for that. Kickstarter is being updated slowly. And... Uh, to get you, start getting you guys um, all those different awards. And uh, again, can't thank you guys enough for all the support and love lately. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe for more Epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply, Unlucky, signing out.